In lesson 4.2, example 2, we multiply multiple matrices together. In this instance, we have matrix A, matrix B, and matrix C, and we will arrange them in different orders. First, let's look at A times B times C. Okay? And A times B times C looks something like this when written out as a matrix. Now, we have to multiply these two together first because they are in the parentheses following our order of operations. So, to multiply those two first, remember we write down the black matrix twice and we fill in the blue ones. Alright, now, let's see here. Here's the black matrix twice. Negative 3, 2, 5, 1. Negative 3, 2, 5, 1. We multiply the first column by 1. Second column by 0. The third column by negative 2. And the fourth column by negative 1. And when we add those together, and multiply them and add together, we get the black matrix here. Negative 3 times 1 plus 5 times 0 is negative 3. 2 times 1 plus 1 times 0 is 2. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6 plus 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, so it becomes a 1. Uh, 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4, plus 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1, comes to negative 5. Okay, now we multiply these two matrices together. We're going to we're going to write down the red matrix twice. The red matrix written down twice looks like this. 4, negative 1, 3, 0. 4, negative 1, 3, 0. And then we multiply each column separately. So this first number here is going to be multiplied by the first column. Negative 3, negative 3. This number here by the second column. 2, 2. This number here by the third column. 1, 1. This number here by the fourth column. Negative 5, negative 5. And we're going to multiply them together and we get this. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Negative 12 times positive 6 is negative 6. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3 plus 0 is positive 3. 4 plus negative 15 comes to negative 11. Negative 1 times 0 is negative 1. The red matrix here is our answer. Let's take a moment to study the entire problem once more.